Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. Before we get into some NBA action, for December 25th, Christmas Day, I want to invite you to join. So you'll have access here to the VIP club section, which has all the tools up at the top here to help you make your picks more effectively. Okay, so some great games for uh, Christmas Day. There's five of them, in fact, and they're all really good good matchup so let's take a look at at the games for Christmas Day Monday December 25th okay we got the Bucks and the New York Knicks you see both teams coming in burning hot the Bucks on a six game winning streak the Knicks have won four out of the last six Milwaukee is a road favorite of minus 138 to plus 130 and the um, score predictor has Milwaukee by 119 to 110 with almost 80 percent level of confidence you notice that the teams overall have been trending in games, uh, let's see, five out of the last eight have been over the line, but the last three combined have been under the line. On the power ranks indicator, Milwaukee has skyrocketed to the top of 29. You see New York has been on, on an upswing as well. They're up to plus 21. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams, they have met twice this year, Milwaukee winning both times. Last one in a very high-scoring uh, blowout, 146-122. to 122. We see the stability factor. Both teams have been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. And the Knicks not quite as much over the last uh, week and a half or so, but overall very consistent in that regard. In the end, though, I think the Milwaukee is just too much. I like them to win this one. Even though it's on the road, I like them to win this one in a game over the line. Here's another game with two teams that are burning hot. Mill, uh, Golden State and Denver. Golden State winners of their last three, but they're still a game under 500. Uh, Denver has won five out of their last six, and they are third in the Western Conference. You see Denver is a favorite with odds of minus 196 to plus 183. Uh, the score prediction is for Denver by seven with about 79% level of confidence. And you see the total here, which would be 241 points if that were to hold. That would be over the line. But if you take notice of this, uh, the teams are trending on opposite sides of the over-under. Denver under in their last three. Whereas Golden State has been over in their last three. On the power ranks indicator, you see that Denver has, is, has been up and down pretty much all year. They're back up to plus 24. Um, Golden State is now on an upswing. They were at plus 10 and now they're on, at plus 14 due to their recent winning streak. Head to head wise, the teams met earlier this season once. Denver won by three points at home. Um, let's take a look at this here. Volatility oscillator. Up and down, we're trained here as far as consistency goes for Denver. See, they were at plus 8 back on November 23rd, and they are just now at plus 9, uh, you know, a month and a half later. A month and a half later? Yeah, about a month and a half later. And um, Golden State is at plus 10. So both of them are at least moderately to relatively uh, good stability. So in the end, I think this I'm going to pass on the over-under bet because the teams are trending on opposite sides of the line, but I'd like Denver to win this one. Boston and the Lakers. Now, this here's a matchup of the two franchises with the most uh, titles in NBA history. But right now, as far as this year goes, the teams are on opposite sides here. You see Los Angeles, dead stats, losers of the last four. They're out of the playoff picture as of now, although it's still early in the season, relatively early, about a third of the way through. Boston burning hot, the best team in the Eastern Conference. Um, Boston is a favorite of minus 121 to plus 114. The score predictor has Boston by a a very comfortable 13-point margin with about 70% level of confidence. This 231-point total would probably be over the line. That line has not yet been set. But you see the teams have been trending in games on uh, over the line in uh, let's see, seven out of the last nine. On the power ranks indicator, Boston uh, near the top of the league as they've been all season, and they're at plus 28. The Lakers, they're on a downward trend, and they've been steady at plus 10 over the last couple of days. Head-to-head -head wise, the two teams haven't met since last January when Boston won in overtime by, actually both games last year, if I take a look back at this, both games last year were overtime games, Boston winning both times. I don't think this will be an overtime one this time. I like Boston winning this one. I think it's rather comfortable margin between 5 and 10 points in a high-scoring game, so let's go over the line. 
Philadelphia and Miami. The 76ers are burning hot winners of five out of the last six behind Joel and Bede really up in this game, even from last year's MVP outing. It's been pretty impressive to watch. And Miami is average up winners of four out of the last six. If you notice, the odds here are dead even at minus 103 apiece. So that should be a very good contest here. Um, the score prediction has Philadelphia by nine with about 68% level of confidence. And if you notice, the over under the two teams have been trending in games mostly over the line. From the power ranks indicator, Philadelphia kind of up and down um, right now at plus 26 near the top of the league. Miami, although they've been up and down, you can see the general trend has been upward there at plus 18. Head to head, the two teams have not yet met this season, so we can't really go anything on that to make our picks. See how consistent the two teams have been. Philadelphia has been very, very stable, among the most stable teams in the NBA. While Miami was pretty consistent up until November the 30th, you see they were at plus nine at that point, and now they're only plus eight uh, a month later. So over the last month, not very stable. So I think this is going to be Philadelphia's game. They're going to continue their hot play, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. Now we're going to take a look at Denver and Phoenix. If you take a look at this game here, Phoenix is ice cold down. They're coming off of a loss, and they've lost four out of their last six. If you take a look at the Dallas trend, they are um, average down. They've also not been playing very well. Losers of three out of their last four. And Phoenix is a home favorite, pretty pretty strong home favorite, minus 186 to plus 174. Um, the over-under has not yet been set, but the score prediction, even though Phoenix is a big favorite, the score prediction is for Dallas to win by 11. In a relatively high-scoring game here, 121 to 110, and the confidence in the prediction is really very high at 87%. Now, as far as the over/under goes, I'm going to avoid this. Maybe actually even bet the under um, if I was betting on this one. You see, because they've been trending in games under the line in the last five. The power ranks indicator shows Dallas on a downward trend at plus 16. Phoenix also downward trend. Recent play being poor is not a surprise. They are at plus seven. The stability factor, Phoenix has not been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus four for the season. They were at plus six back on November 24th. Uh, Dallas has been more consistent there at plus nine. So uh, what I think is going to happen here is I kind of think this is going to be a Dallas win, just, just having a feeling that this is going to be an upset. Uh, Dallas, I'm going to go with Dallas on the road in an upset, and I'm definitely going to go under the line in this one. Regardless of what the score prediction says, I just think it's going to be an under the line game uh, based off of what the trends have been showing. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA for December 25th. Happy holidays, happy betting, and we will see you next time.